This is a quick, unscripted reference video for the Kovacs speech thing. There is a thread over at the Vogons forums, I will provide a link in the description of this video, where uh, someone is going to try to clone the Kovacs speech thing. And I thought I would take a quick moment to document all three versions of the speech thing that I have and uh, also provide reference audio output. Uh, in this case, uh, the people over at the Vogons thread have been using Crystal Dream as the uh, output, so I'm going to do the same thing at the end of this video. Very quickly though, this is the later version of the box, and I actually have two of them. Uh, the Kovacs speech thing was originally created in 1984, and I'm going to show you the three versions I have. Now, unfortunately, I do not know which version is earlier than the others, all I know which is the very last one. So I'm going to pull out what I think is the earliest version. Let me quickly unwrap this so you can see what I'm talking about. It has, I believe this is an, uh, an early version of the Kovacs speech thing. It has the blue lettering, which I believe they ditched later. I could be wrong about this, by the way. I do not actually know the chronological order. This is my guess. My guess is that this is the first version. Um, it has nothing on the back, the blue labeling on the front, and it ends in a very long cord that goes to two differently sized mono dipole, um, you know, uh, plugs. Uh, this is the actual three and a half inch, uh, sorry, th sorry, 3.5 millimeter mono plug. This is your normal plug. And then this is a much smaller one. And I don't quite understand what that one was for. Uh, the only speakers that I've ever received uh, with my Kovacs speech thing have been these, which can run either on AC adapter power or 9-volt battery. Um, oh, actually, never mind. I think we've answered the question. This is uh, a smaller plug for the... Pl uh, so, this, so what this will do is this will power the speaker. This specific model will power the speaker by putting the smaller plug into the 5 volt. All right, that's kind of cool. All right, so I, I don't know if that's the earlier version or the later one. Let's look at number two. Number two is this one. Uh, I think this one is a little bit more common. It has silver lettering. It has a sticker on the back saying it is certified to comply with the FCC rules. And it ends in a very short cord with, this, with and this is interesting, a stereo uh, plug. Although, of course, the output of the speech thing is just mono. And then finally, I have a third model. This one was intact, and this one was the last release of the speech thing. The very last release uh, came with advertisements for the Soundmaster 2, one of their other older cards. Um, what is this? This is an addendum for 1992. However, after you get through all of the marketing material, you will see that uh, it contains the very last version of the software that I know of, um, but this is the last version that I've ever encountered. So version 3.05 uh, from 1994, probably the very last year this was ever produced as a product. Um, the, old, the older version came with, you can't see them, but uh, three, uh, five and a quarter inch floppies that contain an earlier version of the software, as well as this version um, on five and a quarter inch floppies. So I found that interesting. And then the actual dongle, uh, here, you'll see it's still in its packaging. I'll go ahead and remove it. Uh, and the reason this is interesting to look at, you know what, I'm having trouble getting out of the packaging, but let's take a quick look at it. It has the same markings, front and back, but it has a much, much longer cord, and it ends in a mono plug. So, uh, I cannot verify, out of all three of these, which one is earliest, middle, and latest. Uh, but for this particular test, this is the one that, that I always knew about uh, growing up. So I am going to use this one for the audio test, Crystal Dream 2. Uh, conveniently goes to this stereo plug, uh, which I'm going to run into the line in on my desktop system and we'll record it at 96 kilohertz, 16-bit uh, audio, 16-bit depth. And uh, there you go, a very quick reference video for the Kovacs speech thing. And uh, the Crystal Dream audio begins now. 